Joining us now on the phone is Florida Senator, uh, joining us live now is Florida Senator Bill Nelson, who is joining us from the nation's capital. Uh, sorry to speak with you under these circumstances, Senator Nelson. I'm wondering if you can tell us your response to what happened today in Parkland. Well, let me give you some new information. Uh, the gunman was wearing a gas mask and had smoke grenades. He then went and activated the alarm system, and that caused the students to come out of the classrooms, and of course, that put them in a bunched-up situation, and with an AR-15 automatic rifle uh, with a bunch of clips, you can imagine the carnage that he wrought, and those are the uh, the terrible, terrible numbers of deaths that you've heard about. It's really, it's unfathomable that this could take place uh, here in, in South Florida and that the numbers could be what they are. It is just absolutely devastating to this community. What is your message to the people of Parkland and South Florida tonight, sir? Well, we are grieving with you and uh, you are obviously grieving. Uh, this was a premeditated uh, uh, murder on the part of the gunman with all the preparations that he went through. Uh, he may or may not have a mental problem, but when we look back uh, at just in Florida, uh, remember a year ago we had the killings at the Fort Lauderdale Airport, Broward County also. Remember a couple of years ago, we had the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, and that's 49 of our citizens taken. And that's just Florida in recent history. So at some point, the American people are going to say enough is enough. We were just talking with a Broward County Commissioner, and I asked him that question. He didn't want to go there. He didn't want to inject politics into this story uh, so early on in the discussion. Uh, but since you've mentioned it, sir, and here you are, you're, you're running for re-election. Uh, how does this become a part of your campaign messaging? What are you going to promise the people of South Florida if they were to elect you to another term that you might be able to do about this? Well, I'm not going to get into the campaign, but I can sure tell you, uh, because I've had to answer questions all day, well, what do we do? Uh, because it's not only in Florida, as I just outlined, but uh, Sandy Hook, uh, just uh, a while ago, Las Vegas, 59 people. Uh, think back to Columbine out in the West. I mean, it goes on and on. Uh, mental health is certainly one thing that's got to be looked at, and we've got to give more attention to it. But there's something about an AR-15. Now, this Floridian grew up on a ranch, owning guns all my life, a hunter, and still hunt with my son. But an AR-15 is not for hunting. That's for killing. And so at some point, we've got to confront what does the Second Amendment, which I support, the right to bear arms, where does it stop? So let me give you an example. We took a very common sense approach in a bill offered by Senator Feinstein a couple of years ago. This bill said that if you're on the terrorist watch list, the terrorist watch list, you can't buy a gun. And we could not get that passed in the Senate. I mean, Senator. So you see, we've got a long way to go. Senator, lawmakers in Washington can't even agree on what to do about children who were brought to this country illegally. How are you ever going to solve this problem? Well, since you brought up DACA and the Dreamers, hopefully that's going to be a good news story tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to try to get the 60 votes that is required to cut off debate for one of four proposals that will be offered in front of the Senate tomorrow. I hope that's uh, going to be the case. It hasn't been locked in with unanimous consent, but that's certainly the effort that we're going to try to make on the Dreamers tomorrow.
Center, Nelson. This is Rudy Bey Shabazi chiming in here. Thank you for the new information you provided us about the suspect. I'm also wondering if you've heard anything about a motive. No, I haven't. And and how about where but you got? They've got him in custody, so they're uh, they're interrogating him now. Okay. So they may well have a pretty good idea. And how about where he got his firearms? His firearm. Uh, I I don't know any of that. Senator Nelson, we appreciate you talking to us again. I wish it was under better circumstances. I feel like the last time we spoke was in Orlando after the Pulse nightclub shooting. Uh, perhaps we can talk with you again uh, when there isn't one of these stories uh, that's making headlines. But Senator Bill Nelson joining us from Washington. Senator, thank you so much.